That chick is out. Let's watch this here. No, no, no. All right. What are you doing here, Linus? Your DVD player broken. Uh, you showed me uh, two different versions. Actually, I prefer this one, even though they're very similar. I like that you cut out the thing he did at the very end. You know, when he did something with his mouth, which just felt a bit weird and almost forced. Like you're trying to match something to the sound, which I don't know, it was a bit weird. So I do like this. My main, um, What's it concerns? My main impressions are that there's a lot of there's a lot of drag overlap on this, making this a bit noodly. At the same time, mechanics-wise, there's a lot of movement here that doesn't affect the chest at all. If you look at this, I see shoulder movement, which is good, but there's nothing that when that shoulder goes and this goes forward, there's no rotation in here. And there's no compensation on the head. So that just feels mechanically a bit weird. And then same thing when he moves over, arm goes down, which I'm looking at like these lines here and I'm looking kind of like what's going on here. There's there's no rotation on that and there's no change on the head either. That's just kind of a translate over. Just a bit weird. By weird, I mean if if you're standing and then your arm is like this and your arm goes down, chest will go over, that head will compensate probably this way. It's going to be a slight rotation over or, or I mean, you know, maybe as this opens, would he go up and react and look at the face faster? This seems like he is going back. This would make more sense if the door didn't open. So he was kind of like knocking. I was like, yeah, I guess I'm just going to wait. And this, like around here-ish, when this reaction happens in his head when he goes back, that's when the door would open. Then it would make no sense, more sense. But right now I would do, he knocks and then this opens. Yeah, that would already bring up that head. And then the head again, feels a bit over animated. It goes back, but it's kind of relaxed. Like that settle here, Blowing that overshoot makes it shoot, just a bit too cartoony. And by cartoony, I mean just, that's not the right word. It's, it's just too many. It's almost like you're putting in animation principles, but not really looking at the acting. So I would look at when he's knocking, like why is he here? Let's see. So if he goes, why are you here again? So maybe, you know, this would fit because maybe he's embarrassed, right? Or I don't you could go with embarrassed. Like he's he's come here so many times, he's asking so many times for favors and and you know whatnot. That when he's like this, that makes more sense. Head is down. This opens so quickly that he has a quicker reaction. But then when he looks at him, he brings his head back down again, maybe. You know, when he has that look here. And he has that look, that long stare. That's when you could have the head down. And then that's when he has that reaction. Like, oh, you again. Because right now he's just kind of nondescript. And I know he is just kind of a... I'd say background character, he's, he's the foreground. But he's not the main person, right? We're all looking at him. But I still feel that, A, when you do this, that's a specific animation style, all noodly and over-exaggerated, that then doesn't really match this. So I would tone him down so that it's a bit more um, consistent with this type of animation, this type of acting. Even if it's minimal, it'll still be interesting to have something a bit more. But anyway, I digress. It's just that beginning. Even if you have nothing in here, I would just reduce that whole overshoot and back. I would reduce the drag in the, what's it called, in the wrist. And make sure the mechanics work because if that's the beginning of your shot and i see all that being so stiff then i wouldn't even continue watching it's like hmm that's not quite ready all right now looking at the other guy opening he feels a bit fast blip, 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 like all that which i guess you could argue if this is kind of cartooning over exaggerated then this would match where it's all fast and whoop, whoop. But then to me, this gets a lot more quote unquote realistic. 
this might be a bit more exaggerated, but so maybe you make this more cartoony or you reduce this cartooniness and make him less bouncy. To me, it feels like he has like too many bounces for the amount of steps. Like he's really kind of prancing in there. Not prancing, but kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I know he has that expression of, you know, some friends there and they're having fun. But I think you can just reduce that into like one or two steps. It takes one step over and one step over. So one this way to open the door and then another step to rebalance. You know, you always kind of take two steps. You rarely just take one step. Know, especially in this case, it's a history, it's a couple steps. But visually, one step over and then one step back this way. Then, same thing here. So mechanically, there's a couple of things, mechanically and acting-wise. I like that he's looking. It gives us some history that, yeah, yeah, he's doing something else. Make sure blink on your turn. That's fine. I think that's okay to go this way and lean. That gives him a good attitude of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, that freeze is good but the thing that's a bit weird is that little squint and opening and then you have a super separate expression here where in the face and in the body like nothing else moves except in here and then suddenly the um the mouth corners get dialed in where again nothing else moves and i would look at okay well what does that mean he is in a good mood Yeah, this seems a bit weird. I would, you could try this squint with maybe only this much, just a little bit of a change. But to me, it feels like you want to keep it maybe no more than this, and hold, 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 and then as you do this, you can open the eyes to what you have here, meaning that he goes over there and then has that tension in his eyes to maybe. You know, like I said, maybe run here, maximum here, probably say here ish. You could try it, I don't know. Something like that. And then I would hold. The reason why I'm saying is holding is that it's that stare, right? So you go from happy to what? That little, that long look of, like he's almost processing for that long that this guy is here. And then when you do this, That's the more seriousness. So when you have that, you can get into that look. You could potentially bring up the shoulders. You can lower this arm a bit. Maybe bring the forearm up. So he's you know, almost holding himself in a more tighter fashion. Like you, you have to think about, he's happy, surprised-ish, right? And then he's what? He's angry and then disappointed. Or you know, you have to make sure that when he changes from one emotion to the next, that it's not just in here, that you want to look at, well, what does that mean body-wise? Even if it's subtle, but there's going to be some reaction in the body. Like, that's okay. Like, here, here it's cool. And I like that the shoulders go first. Like, oh. But then watch out. As you do this, it's a bit of a simple move and rotation down. You can almost go further with the head rotation and maybe almost lean this way. And then when he goes back up, you can lean back up this way. So there's a bit bigger change in the head. Right now you're kind of stuck in that rotation or that orientation. It's always kind of the same. And it's something else you can do that could be subtle. So when he says this here, is he sort of defeated? Like, oh, what are you doing here? With a little bit of an attitude? Or is he challenging him? What are you doing here? Meaning that when he goes from here to here, he could take a step towards the guy with closing the door a bit. It's a bit of a challenge. And I'm closing this. Meaning that you give him... You give him Less room to come in, you know, and he can almost st stand up a bit taller. So it's, it's a, you know, gets a bit closer, 
gets a bit straighter and closer to him and goes, what are you doing here? So like, you know, I'm blocking this. This is just not right. Or, but if you say this and you open the door a bit more and you have him a bit straighter, but take a step back so that then the, you know, the head would be, that's too much, but let's say just a little step over, door is a bit more open. Then it comes across as, what did you do again? You know, like, what else do you need? But because he takes a step back and the door opens, it means that, again, you're here, but I'm going to help you. And right now, it feels just in the middle. Like, there's just, well, I don't know. Okay, well, I see that with the attitude and the and the audio, like, with the words, that he's annoyed. But I think you can push this in terms of acting. Like, is he annoyed and that's it? That's the last time? Or is it annoyed, but he's still going to help him? That could be just an interesting, subtle acting choice um, to tell us a bit more what this character thinks. Yeah, that's a big thing. With the... like if I walk you through my, my quick impressions, just to recap... Too, too over-exaggerated, over-animated, too bouncy. That's too separate just in the face. There's nothing else in the body as there's a, an emotional change. That little... Make it a bit louder here, just a bit. He has a bit of a, an inhale. Just something in there could be a bit stronger in the body. Just a little bit. I'm not talking about something massive, but it's it's a big moment. Hold on, let me turn this. Uh, where's my scrubbing? Scrubbing. Scrubbing. There you go. It just seems like a big moment that's a bit too subtle in your performance. I do like that you have a little bit of a. Let's turn this off. A bit of a lean over. But I think you can delay it a bit more. You can go maybe half. Half of what you're doing with the body and the head, but almost as a moving hold. So you start and then snap it a bit more. So right now it feels like you're just going over. Now we go hold. And then that, you hit that on DVD. So it's DVD. DVD is a little bit of an accent on the head for DVD. DVD but then, DVD this seems a bit much. That, that's over one frame. So that feels a bit more like a pop. I would reduce that. Definitely give this more frames, but I wouldn't go as low. DVD player broken. Player broken. I think I'm broken, you can go higher. Then I will keep that. But probably reduce the shoulders by half. DVD player broken. Because that's a lot of movement and that energy in the body to do all this, I don't hear that in the in the voice. I can see that more in like a head shake, a little bit of an attitude there, um, but not as much in the body. So again, that feels a bit over animated, especially compared to the audio. Your DVD player broken. And then watch out, you're just changing. It's a big change from here to doing all of this and especially the eyes and then we cut out so watch how we loop around this whoa so you it's almost like you started a new emotion there's a new place the character gets in but we don't settle on it and then we cut out right away but i think it's fine again i will reduce this expression but he looks really freaked out and again that doesn't it's that doesn't quite match the audio but then it's okay to go into this because that's his annoyed. Like that's more of an accent and that's his state of mind. But then I will give this another 10 frames at least. Just so we can rest on it. And if you go further, let's say you give this a second, then you could have him do the little head down in shame. If you don't change anything beforehand. You know, that could be an interesting thing as well so they have a bit more of a, a relationship a relationship but in terms of how you know he does something he reacts he says something he reacts but it's not needed i think you can absolutely just end on him that's totally fine all right 
That is it. Those are my, my bigger uh, notes. Let me know what you think if you want to change that. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken. Player broken. Broken on the B. I would roll in the lips a bit more. Broken. But you have it over two frames, but you could close them a bit more, but you can imagine they're rolled in more. It's a little bit rolled and then they open broken. Your DVD player broke. I mean, not like it's a P. A sharp one, but you want to have a bit more of a um. I know it's a B, but broken. I think you just roll them in a bit more. Only because that shape is just always there. I just want to get a bit more contrast in the shapes. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken. And then you could try to look at what are you doing here, Reynolds? Reynolds. Could be the bigger shape in terms of how far this corner goes out. What are you doing here, Reynolds? What are you doing here, Reynolds? Uh, actually, what are you doing here? Here could be the big one. What are you doing here, Reynolds? You're yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? So the reason I'm saying all this is because if you look at the corners, there's a lot of in and out of the corners. It's very chattery. Usually the chatter is in the jaw, but I don't think your jaw is that bad. But I think it's your corners. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player. So yeah, there's so much going back and forth. And I think you can simplify. So, what are you doing here? So it's more close. You know, they're really subtle stuff in terms of your corners in and out. Except on the here, looking here, because that's this big thing. What are you doing here? And then you have a bigger contrast from the mouth, mostly, you know, the corners closer together, and then DVD, and then DVD. You can widen. That's a big contrast moment there. Broken. broken and then the broken is a bit more to me i would stay within this shape broken versus that that seems more like he right that's a kind of a he shape broken and the, i don't think you have broken i don't think you have to exaggerate that shape at the end so you have a bit more of a beginning where it's a bit more like that what are you doing here and then on here you have a bit of a here and then go back to closed and then you have DVD and then back to broken. Just do that. That's so there's a bit more contrast and changes in, in that area. Because right now it feels like it's just always the same. You go from here to maybe this amount. And that just goes back and forth, back and forth throughout the whole thing. If you watch this again. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken. Just seems a bit too similar. And it feels like the what are you doing here is a frame or too late. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Uh, same with it. But as always, lip sync. I'm going to check the player, but make sure that it's you know, on your end as well. Maybe my player could be a frame off. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken. What are you doing here, Reynolds? Your DVD player. I do like his eyes, though. I like looks down, looks back up at him with a little bit of a. The little changes are great. The little darts are great. Yeah, just the accents in the shoulders are a bit too sharp, too quick. Beep, beep, beep. It's too poppy. All right, that's kind of it. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.